for some time, uh, over the course of the past two years, there was a dark cloud hanging over us yep. because of the US issue. So we are very glad that we have resolved that. We have paid a heavy price, both Binance and CZ, paid a heavy penalty, heavy price for this. What's important is that we acknowledge, you know, during the early years where rules and regulations are unclear, we make mistakes. Yep. It's important that we acknowledge them, like other financial institutions does. It invests in the right direction and get much better. And so over the course of last two years, 2022, we spent 158 million US dollars in our compliance program. Last year, that went up to 213 million. This year, we got even more, right? So in terms of compliance account, we continue to recruit, continue to deploy globally. And we are very pleased with the results so far. We work as I mentioned, very closely with global regulators and policymakers on that front to really educate them the innovative aspects of it uh, about how do you manage the risk aspect of it. And we continue to deploy. We are very grateful to our users for their continued support of us and their trust in us. I look forward to having him back home safely. All of us do. Our crypto industry is looking forward to have him back safely, right? Yep. So I think we are all looking forward to that. And it's easy all of us know is a giant in this industry. Okay? Um, and he has huge influence. I mean, he's a major shareholder of Binance on that front. Uh, so he continued to have very broad shareholding rights on mm -hmm. that. Uh, as for his future plans, I'm afraid you have to ask him, well, you, you get a chance, you know, it's not, not too far away. Yeah, it's not too far. <laughs> yeah. What has changed, right? So if I can bring you through, I mean, CZ was the founder CEO. Yeah. Uh, he was a charismatic, inspirational leader for the company. Uh, but when I took over, uh, the landscape for crypto has changed. When he started the firm in 2017, the, the landscape is one where regulators are not regulating this space, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's no particular interest. Institutions are not partaking in this space. But I took over end of last year. Right? As I mentioned, 2024 has been a landmark year. You see clearer rules and regulations around the world. Mm -hmm. close, close to one third of regulators now are regulating this space. If you look at the top 100 financial institutions around the world, everyone has a crypto agenda now, right? Compared to two years ago, Larry Finn, the largest asset manager, money manager, went from a crypto skeptic to a crypto believer and supporter. So it's, it's a landmark shift on the yeah, front, right? So I, I mean, the Binance today operate in a very different environment. So we, ha we have to change with that. So today, instead of a founder CEO led company, we are a board led company. Right. So we have seven directors on board. I work very closely with the board of directors to, ch to map, to chart the strategy going forward. But our pace of growth is very fast. Right? Uh, if you look at globally, I mentioned that we are now the most licensed exchange uh, globally. We have secured India, which is one of the largest marketplace that you can have. That must be very and before that, Indonesia, again, the largest Muslim country in the world. Right? So we want to make sure that we build the best platform with the best product feature. So if you look at it, throughout the course of this year, we continue to rock, you know, new things, right? To really support our users in their journey, right? From things like Web3 Wallet, to Mega Drop, to Copy Trading, to Super Earn, to Binance Square, and that list goes on. And we take our users' feedback very seriously. There's a channel where users can go through, give us those feedback, and we evaluate those very carefully to see which, which other thing can we introduce to really support them in their users. So we always be a user-first organization, but we are also investing very heavily into compliance. So it's a user-first, compliance-first organization because that's the change in landscape that we are seeing. Direction of travel is very clear. Mm -hmm. Going forward, there's going to be more needs for, for compliance. So we have invested heavily in compliance, as I mentioned. Our headcount in compliance will continue to grow up. <laughs> Our investments will continue to grow up. But if you look at the different dimension of that, we have the financial ability to invest very heavily in compliance, right? Yeah. Uh, some other players don't. Yep. So we intend to make it as a competitive advantage as, this, as the landscape shift on that front, right? So uh, that's, that's a key competitive advantage for us other than uh, us being the largest Web3 ecosystem yep. in the world. Now. First of all, our top priority is to get Tigran home safely to his loved one and family, right? He's in poor health. He has gone through malaria, two bouts of pneumonia there. He has herinated this, so he's in great pain. He can't walk properly, right? And he's not getting the proper medical treatment. We have appealed to the Nigerian government uh, repeatedly 
to release Tigran on humanitarian grounds so that he can go home and get the proper medical treatment that he needs, right? Whatever disagreement we have uh, with governments around the world, we resolve that. We are, we are compliant, we are co cooperative, right? So we have resolved issues in the state, mm -hmm. in places like Brazil, India, and we continue to operate in many of those jurisdictions after resolution of those issues. So we appeal to the Nigerian government to say there's no need to hold our staff, right? He's held unjustly, unfairly. He was there as a, on invitation yeah. as a financial crime expert, right? So hopefully the American government can designate him as unlawfully detained mm -hmm. on that front and we can get him home as soon as possible. On our side, I mean, the, the world is looking at this, not only the crypto sector, mm -hmm. every economic industry looking at investments. This set a very bad precedent, right? If you have disagreement with a corporate and you detain their staff, innocent staff on that regard, that's not the way to really try to attract foreign direct investments of in the course. country. So we want to work very closely with the Nigerian government to resolve whatever issues there are. Binance does global deployment. Right? So in Europe alone, today we have six different registrations in six European units, right? So six European units country. Uh, as of now, we continue to deploy in Europe. We continue to work very closely with the regulatory agencies over there. And we continue to await, I mean, Mika has been introduced, but yep. a lot of detailed provisions are not clear yet. Yes. So other than on the stable coin front, which I think clarity has been provided, we are still waiting for all the other provisions. And we intend uh, to make sure that we continue to be a very important player in the European continent, continue to serve our users over there.